Welcome to the second Battle Worlds Academy video. This video gets straight down to the nitty gritty, the combat system of Battle Worlds Kronos. Let's start with the basics. Damage. If a unit is attacked, it will probably be damaged. If it loses all its hit points, the unit will explode and leave a wreck behind. The amount of damage a unit sustains depends partly on the attacking unit and its target, but another important factor is the pincer movement. The more enemy units are positioned on the adjoining hex fields, the more damage will be dealt to the target unit during an attack. Additional factors are the type of terrain and whether the unit is in a defensive position. The estimated amount of damage a unit will deal on another unit is displayed in a preview on the target unit's life bar. If you want more detailed information, just do a right-click on the unit. A target unit fires back after it has been attacked. In the process, a damaged unit deals less damage than an unscathed one. A unit with 10 out of 10 hit points deals about double the damage as the same type of unit that only has 5 out of 10 hit points. If you attack a unit with 10 out of 10 hit points and reduce its health by 3 hit points, the counterattack will be only 70% of that unit's maximum attack power. This system rewards an offensive and active style of playing. Each unit can only defend itself the number of times that it could attack during its own turn, which for most of them is once per round. Tactically, it therefore makes sense to execute the first attack on an enemy unit with a unit that obtains as little damage as possible during the counterattack, and then proceed with weaker units, since the enemy won't be able to counterattack after the first time. Besides the attack sequence, the positioning of units is also of vital importance. Some units can attack opponents that are several hex fields distant, while others can only attack the ones directly adjacent to them. This, of course, also applies to counterattacks. If, for example, a Cerberus tank that can only attack adjacent hex fields is attacked by a bandit, a vehicle that can attack from a distance of two fields, the Cerberus can't counterattack. The same would apply for the opposite scenario, since the bandit isn't capable of close-range combat. Accordingly, an ideal attack pattern against a stronger opponent should look like this. First, move several of your own units beside the enemy unit to benefit from the pincer effect. Then, attack with types of units that the enemy unit, due to its reach, can't defend itself against. Next, bring in a unit with strong defense to absorb the counterattack of the already weakened enemy. Finally, finish him off with some weaker units. The blue team will win against red in the next round. If the commander of the blue team had used poor positioning and an unfavorable attack sequence for his units, red would have won this duel by a close shave. Discuss this topic and many others in our development forum at www.battle-worlds.com.